Hello everybody, my name is Chad, welcome to another MLB 90 20 video. Today we finally, finally achieve our goal we've been looking for for the past, I don't know, 20 weeks. And we're finally here with our man Jorge Posada. So, the first thing that I want to do is I want to flash back to me getting him. Now, it's not exactly that great, like, it's just it's just me basically collecting him from the event. But I want to flash back to it just because it's, you know, posterity's sake. So, here's past me collecting him from the event on Christmas Day. So it is now past me once again, a familiar face on this show. It is currently 2 a.m. on Christmas. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. And we are here to do one thing and one thing only. That is finally achieve the goal that we've had set forever. And that is to get Jorge Posada. And finally, we have the points to do it. So we're going to go get him. Finally. I've never thought this day would ever come. I've been waiting for this day forever, and finally we're here. I mean, I, I, I'm i speechless, so make sure I've selected catcher. Select him. I've selected catcher. Yes, that's it. New York Yankee, prime catcher. Prime, silver, catcher. Yes. Card set. I wonder who it could be. Who is it? It's Jorge Posada. No way, dude. It's finally mine. Hold on. I want to brag this to the to chat real quickly. Oh, there's no way he's finally here. I never thought I'd see the day. Hold on. We got to put him in chat real quick. There it is. It's real. My account. It's real. I can't even type correctly. Oh my god. I would be recording this on my computer, but I actually had the power just go out on me, so I'm gonna do this in the dark. <laughs> We're finally here, dude. Oh dude. Alright, I'm gonna go start training him up and I'll see you guys in the future. Uh back with uh potentially some results. Alright, so we finally, finally have the guy. So I wanna show you guys what I've done with him. I trained him up. So oh, let me turn my volume off so it's not bothering me. So we've got this training on him. We've got uh, 15, is that on the right side? And we've got 17 and 13 on uh, contact and power, and then a good amount of eye in there as well. It's not, like, ideal. I kind of wish that the uh, power and the contact was flipped, but I spent 150 uh, reset seconds on him, and I don't want to spend any more on him. So he's honestly fine there. I mean, he's basically, I've seen other people run that training before. He's honestly fine. That's that's a fine training. There's nothing really going to go on about that. So the first thing we're gonna do, honestly, is do our bit of our bleh, we're gonna do our daily pack if I can get the words out. We're gonna bring him up to diamond, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna go off on our adventure, spec training Posada, and then we are going to go and we're going to go bring him up, hopefully close to eight, and we'll see where we go from there. Love seeing bronzes, thank you. So we are going to go bring him to diamond first, and it, it, someone was like, "What if you get him?" From you, from the packs you opened today, ah, uh, that'd be pretty funny. But honestly, people have been like forecasting me getting him for basically forever now, and I haven't gotten him. So, what are the odds of that? So we're gonna bring him to diamond. Beautiful. And the good, th the good thing is, is thank God I don't have to use any great increased reset tickets on him because he's already gonna have a perfect GI. I love it. It's so beautiful. Wait, what? That was a great increase recent ticket. That was not who I was going to use that on. Oh, baby. Beautiful. 17, 20, 19, great increase. Love it. So, uh, my plan for today was basically what I'm going to do, as I'm sick... Uh, my plan is I'm going to use my live season. Oh, perfect. I'll take those. Thank you very much. On double mileage, sign me up, boy. Is I was going to use my um, my live season intermediate, intermediate player packs on him. We're going to go 40 at a time and just dump them all into him. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can knock out some of those um, player accolades things. So, like the player rewards. Let's see if we can get some premium packs from that. Oh, good. Wow. Some some golds ready. How did Garter do in 20? 63 base. Not great, but uh, whatever. Oh, Mike 4 too. Okay. Perfect. 
Tyler Clifford, I saw that. Oh, Blake Snell, that's right. Blake Snell just got traded to the Padres, or they're finalizing the deal for him right now. So that's going to be an interesting, interesting trade. Um, I'm going to... So I also picked up a couple pitchers, too. I want to show you guys the pitchers I got. I picked up a couple Yankee free agents. I picked up a Tyler Clippard. I also picked up a Zach Britton. So I want to show you guys these pitchers real quickly and the reasons why I'm going to be using them. So I picked up these two gentlemen. I picked up a Zach Britton 20, which is a 66 base, which is not bad, not bad. His skills are pretty bad. I mean, they're not really useful. The Tyler Clippard, however, is a very interesting player because his skills are basically perfect. Like, they're as good as I want them to be. Untouchable mess fixer. I'm going to max untouchable and I'm going I'm I'm to max fixer. Because Untouchable is... They're always nerfing Untouchable. They're all nerfing boss and they're all nerfing the setup skills. So he'll be a good long reliever for me. While I go take my other relief pitchers out and I'll go reskill them. Because they're all normals anyway. So I'm going to basically just be replacing a normal with a normal. And basically just reskilling my other normals. So he'll be very useful for me skilling my bullpen up in the long run. That's basically what I'm going to do with him. Anyway, so let's get back to the content for today. And Zach Britton, he'll need a skill change ticket, but he'll be good and useful for the long run, honestly, as well. So this is just going to be a good way for me to get rid of my live season packs that I've been holding on to forever. There's no real reason for me to have any more live season packs because there isn't really anybody I'm looking for anymore. I'm going to basically... I could have used... Uh, I don't want to use the DD Gorgeous. I was going to say, I could have used the Didi Gregorius on my other diamond, but that wouldn't really be useful because there's no real need for me to do it. Because I'm not going to use the Didi Gregorius for anything, really, except for maybe a potential future update that may or may not happen. We don't really know. But I'm going to go dump all these guys into him. And then when we're done with this, we're going to go dump our skill change tickets into my guy. I don't want to use the, I don't want to use the diamond uh, spec trains just yet. I want to use up my all these dudes first. Beautiful. And I wanted to use up these guys because basically I know that with the material that I have on hand, there's no way that I would basically get to there. I would not be able to get to level 8 today. But now, especially with the fact that I've got like some diamond packs and some ultimates, and on top of the double spec training experience, I actually have a good chance of making it. Wow, Sanchez only got a 61 base for 147? That's crazy. Good power numbers. I mean, all the guy did was hit home runs, basically. That, that, that was his game this year, was home runs and that's it. David Phelps, 20. Surprised he's still in the league, to be perfectly honest. Wow, 6 ERA, oh my god. At what point do you decide to hang it up? I don't know. No idea. Anywho, I'm just sitting here waiting for the new season to arrive. You know, at this point, I've got nothing better to do except for just, you know, pretend to be on the lookout for free agent news. Like I said, Snell is about to be traded to the Padres. I don't know if I woke up today and if that actually went through or not because the Padres were trading four picks to the Rays for a Snell. And I'm curious if the Rays are going to trade Kiermaier as well. I think that's like the next logical step, but I don't actually know. We shall see. It's going to be an interesting week here. I mean, we're not sure what's going to happen anymore. Anybody is on the block right now for them. Let's keep going on our ways. Hopefully we get some more gold players. That way we can keep getting this going. A lot of faceless players. I'm noticing this now. It was a weird season. Tyler Wade, 20. Interesting. Alright, not sure if I want him. Looking for Tyler Clippard cards just so I can upgrade my diamond without having to use a material. Nothing fantastic there. It's so far away. I have to scroll to get to him. takes so long the animation still i forgot how long this animation was because it's like i haven't done spec training in a while outside of that dd sig like it's i forgot how long this actually takes i 
I can't believe I'm here with Bazaar, man. I, I, I genuinely cannot believe it. Like, this is incredible. I, I, I've been waiting for this day forever. And it's just kind of surreal to me that I've been sitting here working on Posada. And you guys have been awesome. I've been talking to you guys in chat, showing you guys my progress with him. And you guys have all wanted to see him, like, all the time. And I think it's awesome. You guys are amazing fans. I also wanted to t take this time to say thank you guys very much because... We just hit 2,000 subscribers. It was like the day after Christmas. I didn't even notice. My, one of my friends messaged me and was like, hey, man, congratulations. And I'm just like, what did I do? I mean, I know I got Posada, but he was like, no, man, you got 2,000 subscribers. And I was like, oh, wow, I didn't even notice. I had to go look it up myself, took a picture of it, and put it on Twitter. But I, I didn't even notice it. So I wanted to thank you guys for that because the only reason I'm here with this many subscribers is because you guys are awesome. I mean, I do my best to make videos, but... I mean, you guys are the ones who are the real fans, and I want to say thank you guys very much for it. Um, I, I will see what kind of financial situation I'm in coming up, and if I've got some extra money, I would love to do a giveaway. But right now, just because of the pandemic and everything, like if we get stimulus checks like our government is proposing, maybe I'll be able to do a giveaway for you guys. But for right now, I need to just take a look at what I'm doing right now with like my day-to-day -day finances and you know keep using it towards myself and my girlfriend and... All those things. So that's the problem right now. But hopefully in the next coming weeks that situation will change and we will see what I can do with it. Anyway, I hope you guys are excited to continue on this journey with me. I know that despite the fact that I've been saying like, oh, you know, Posada's the last thing I need. You know, then, then the team's complete. You know, I've been saying that stuff. But it's not the end of the team. Like, we're going to keep going. Like, obviously we've got teams to let SIGs in a couple days We've got a lot of other things to keep on moving forward with. So just because we've got Posada does not mean this team is complete and does not mean I'm going to be, like, getting a new account. Right now, I don't have any plans to make a new alt, but uh, we'll, we'll see in the future if I've got some time. I mean, like I said, the only reason I can't do it right now is because uh, I've got school, I've got work. I'm basically just throwing myself against the wall, trying to get things done, and I'm using all of my devices for this one team. So... We'll, we'll see if that changes in the future, but for the time being right now, all of my efforts going into this team still because I've got a lot of work left to do. It may not seem like it, but I've got a lot of work left to do. Like, I have to basically reskill almost all of my pitchers, which is going to be a daunting task. I've got to reskill a bunch of people. I've got to retrain a bunch of people. I've got to do a whole bunch of other nonsense. Trust me, this account is going to need a lot of work. I promise you, it's going to need a ton of work. I didn't get any golds from that. That's that's strange as hell. Don't know about that one. Oh, that was the rookie of the year, I think. Was that Lewis? Is that the rookie of the year? Hopefully we're getting some good uh, collections out of this. Ooh, Byron Buxton, okay. I love seeing those golds. Oh, yes. Give me those golds, baby. Anytime you see those golds, you're just like, yes, that's free spec training right there. And then we will go ahead and we will do our rest of our stuff. Adam Avino 20, not sure if he's going to come back next year. A lot of Yankee fans want to see him cut. I mean, I don't know. Like, he's cheap, so I, we might as well keep him. But uh, I don't know if I can stomach throwing him out in the playoffs anymore right now. It just seems to be that it's just such a liability, so... We'll see next year. I mean, I, I'm not going to judge anything based on this year. I mean, this was a very, very strange year for everybody. So we, we'll, we'll, I'll give him a real year, and we'll see what happens. And then, honestly, if he's trash, then he can he can walk out the door himself. All right, this should get into the next spec training level. Ooh, Tyler Clipper gold. Now, despite the fact that I need Tyler Clipper material for my diamond, I would much rather use the gold for spec training material. So, I have no plans to use him for upgrading my diamond. That is the one caveat. I've always said that if I get a silver or better, it is always going to go into spec training. But if I get a bronze or a normal, it will go into my upgrade material. Because it's just so easy to get dupes. It really is. I have 10,000 normal packs. So, if I really needed dupes, I would just go open up a bunch of normal packs, which is not that big of a deal. And then, honestly, I've got enough player upgrade tickets to last me for basically forever at this point. I've already got 70-plus of them. I believe I got one last night, too. So, 
I'm not really too worried about upgrading him. I'm sure it'll happen soon. As long as I just keep dumping my material into him, he will get there sooner rather than later. Already level 3. Beautiful. Haven't even touched a summer pack yet. Haven't even done anything spectacular. I've also got 964 basic live season packs, so those will also be very useful. See that David Phelps card? I don't know. He's been playing forever, and he just seems to keep walking out there and playing. So, good on him. Once you get to the show, you got to stay in the show. Oh, and there's the Just Dingers. A Patances card. Was that the year he pitched, like, one inning and pitched the three batters and tore his Achilles? I think it is. Ah, what's going on? I think so. Yeah, that was the year he pitched one inning against the Blue Jays, tore his Achilles, and was out. Never saw him again. Well, he's on the Mets, but never saw him again in the Yankee uniform. Oh, man. What a sad story. One of my favorite pitches to watch, but... Him and, uh... Him, Miller, and Robertson... And Chapman were just lights out for us. It was so much fun to watch those guys pitch. No runs, DMC, Dellen, Miller, Chapman. We loved watching those guys pitch. So much fun to watch because you just had three people come out of the bullpen in quick succession. All of them have different styles. You'd have Dellen throwing 100, dropping hooks in there. Then you have Miller come in also throwing hard but with sweeping sliders and then you had Chapman who just throws straight gas at you. It's just fantastic. Love love watching it. Was one of my favorite things to watch, especially in the fifteens and sixteens before we uh traded away Chapman and Miller for the World Series between the Indians and the Cubs. That was a lot of fun. That's a good card right there. J Ram twenty MVP. That's gonna be another another piece towards our collections. Hopefully get a lot of premium packs out of this. It'd be cool to get a couple out of this. We'll play a reserve full. Oh, man. We're almost there. We're almost there, you guys. Ah. Moving on. Oh, that Pablo, Pablo Sandoval. That's, that's a sick jersey he's got on there. I like that. I like the way that, that card looks. There we go. Do you have you guys heard any other rumors? I mean, I keep hearing these rumors about people, other teams talking to DJ Lemayu, and I just don't listen to them because it's silly. Like, if the Yankees want him, the Yankees will get him. They're not going to be that silly. But I'm just wondering if you guys have heard any other rumors about any of any other players, especially anybody that I would normally not hear about, because we don't really hear a lot about other teams around here. It's a lot of right now. Just Yankee trade talks and Giants Jets, and on top of that, we also have to have the the Brooklyn Nets are doing pretty well, so we're also hearing about the Knicks. So like right now, we're hearing a lot about other baseball stuff. It's mainly just about Yankees and about Mets right now. So if you guys have heard any other rumors or anything you guys want to talk to me about, you guys want to put them in the comment section and we can talk about them. I mean, I would love to hear about them, and I love talking about baseball, but like I said, the problem is is I've just got, I'm just suffering from withdrawal right now because there's no baseball. There's just nothing to do. I don't want, I don't like basketball. Really, it's not, not a good, it's not my favorite sport. Ever since the Nets moved away, it's been kind of like rocky on my life growing up. And then on top of that, Giants are like, they have to depend next week on the Eagles beating that the Washington team, and then we have to beat Dallas, which might be tough because they just like had any doll look like a monster last week. So that's why I'm kind of kind of like scared about that. But we'll see what happens. I mean, I don't want them to make the playoffs anyway. At this rate, they look terrible. Anyway, so that's why, and also we get to listen to the Jets basically blow up their draft rank, which is f funny. It's so funny to me. That team is so bad. Anyway, we're almost done with this. So sorry to take so long, you guys. I know this takes forever. We're almost done, but it's for the good of the Posada card, and he is the focus of today's. He is the focus of today's video. Oh, Clint Fraser, twenty, nice, nice card. Probably deserved a sig this year, but that's okay. 
he had a fake sig. Somebody made up a, a bunch of fake sigs, and it looks really good. And like, I wish he had a sig this year. That'd be so nice. Beautiful. I've noticed that it also takes the worst players first and then throws them in here. So, Anchorman's only got a 65 base. That's a wreck. Probably has a low base fielding. That's probably why. Two Clint Frazier. That's why I think Clint Frazier deserves a SIG. He had a good season. Solid defender. Very good at, at the plate this year. I think he definitely deserves a SIG, but whatever. They gave it to Aaron Hicks for some reason, who had a great year, obviously, but I think that he was like third in the line of batters who deserved a SIG. But, whatever. <laughs> They're not going to listen to me. Yeah, Luke Voigt, 20. There it is. Also, the Cole Calhoun, 20 hard. Sick card, dude. Because I, I feel like Clint Fraser deserved, deserved a sig. But I feel like Gio Rochelle deserved a sig, too. I don't feel like Aaron Hicks deserved a sig for just walking a lot. I feel like it's kind of a lame batter sig, especially when you compare it to his other 18 sig. I feel like it's kind of weak, but... We have to make do with what the game gives us, I suppose. There's nothing I can do about it. They're not going to change their minds now. They're done. They're set on it. So, <laughs> nothing I can do. Have to live with it. Whatever. Andrew Miller, 20. I feel bad for Andrew Miller. He's kind of going backwards, but hopefully he finds himself. I, I, I read an article about him saying he's lost the feel of his, of his slider, which that's never good. When you start to lose the feel of your field pitches, then you kind of like lose what's like making you whole all right almost a level four we haven't even cracked the silvers and the golds yet oh what a day hopefully we'll get close here it, hopefully i'll get really close and then we'll honestly put them in the lineup when we're done uh what do i got here 30 more so we'll clean these up and then we will go and then we'll ooh, there's another luis avalon card awful card I think the guy has a 13 ERA. I want to check when we're done. This guy is... I don't know how this guy got a card. j Hap got a sig too. Not a bad card. Honestly, kind of weak, though. Compared to his other sig. 74-71 left side. Not ideal. Kind of weak. Uh, where's the Luzon Villan? Yeah, this guy. Oh, only a 4 ERA? There's another guy that has like a 13 ERA in the Yankees right now. Must not have been him, then. Um, yep, yep, yep. All right, level four from just bronzes and a couple diamonds, of course. We're not going to mention those. We're not going to mention those. I may need to crack a lottery, a lottery ticket open to do some more spec trading because it looks like I'm just about out of them. I'm out of points, apparently. I have 263,000 points. All right, so let's go do our premium packs finally. I'm sorry to take so long with this, you guys, but it was for the greater the good of the team. Ooh, don't be, don't, don't, don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me, game. Don't be, don't be Jorge Posada. I swear to God. All right, it's Mike Trout. That's a dupe, so we're going to go combo him at some later date. Dupe Mike Trout card. That's not bad. We take the primes either way. Right now, we're looking for the Della Batances Prime, though. If I had to make a new goal for the account, it would probably be Della Batances Prime, just because it'd be a good bullpen prime to have, despite the fact that I already have a Diamond Della Batances. It would be kind of nice to have one on hand, just in case uh, my current one's in down condition. We got a Diamond out of a Premium Pack. Nice. That Joy Gallo 17 is legit, though. Let's go lock that uh, Mike Trout Prime. I had a gold one. I used the gold one on, on the spec training material. So I'm probably going to get rid of that one I just got right now. I used it not on spec training material. I used it on Mentor because I needed a bat with a high eye as a gold. And he, as it turns out, he's perfect for the candidacy. It was a great fit. It was great. It was very easy. Maybe I'll get a prime out of the team select pack. I know I'm looking for... Cano is out of the game now, so we don't need to worry about pulling him anymore. No more David Robertson. So my only Yankee primes that I can pull are Posada Judge, Tanaka Patances. Is that really it? 
Oh, that's it. Is that it? No, Nick Nelson's not the one with the 13 ERA. I thought that was the one with like the the crazy high ERA. Don't know where he went though. Brett Gardner. I'm not sure who it is anymore. I gotta go check the uh, check the stats later when I get off. Ivan Nova. Is there any other primes? There's no more CC. There's no more Cano. There's Posada. There's Judge. There's Tanaka. There's Batanzas. There's no more Robertson. That must be it. That, that must legitimately be it. That's crazy. Uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> there's, there's, there's Wong Prime, who I just pulled last week. That just reminded me. I was like, there, there can't be another one in there. There is. Forgot about that one. But the game has its weird ways of reminding me about these things. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, yes, Mike Ford. 57 base pitcher. What a legend. That's our dude. Ah, you Darvish. Where am I going with this? throw these dudes in here we may be close i don't know how close the diamond spec training will get us it will definitely be close not too not too uh what you call it not too hopeful about this i may off camera use up all my my uh, basic packs not my basic normals but my, my basic 20s and see if i can get closer if i'm not close enough we will see how close i get honestly Let's go throw the rest of these diamonds in there. Ah, low five. Well, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. There's no gold skill. All right, let's take this opportunity right now to go skill change him. Let's see if we can get some skills on him. We're doing this in a weird order. Do we want to do that? No, we're this close. We'll, we'll keep using the packs. We'll use the packs, and then we'll get skills on them later. It's okay. No big deal. Didi Gregorius card? Okay, Yankees. I love seeing Yankees out of these packs. I'm happy to see any Yankee card out of these packs. Okay, nothing fantastic. Give me another prime, baby. No? Nothing to write home about yet. Ah, only one prime so far. Also, no vintages. Only three golds this week. Very weird week. I got very few golds, but I got seven alts. Also known as seven golds. For those of you who follow this channel religiously. Uh, seven alts, also known as seven gold packs. I got a diamond out of it. Wow, a diamond! <laughs> ah, I love those pack odds. Sick. Also, only one diamond pack from rank this week. Didn't get any diamonds out of uh, out of league this week, but you know it happens. Not always. Can't always be lucky. Wow, that actually worked out perfectly. I had the perfect amount of roster space for all those people. Yeah, I know there's no gold skill game. Thank you. We might get to level 6, so I might be able to finish him up with basics later. I don't know. We shall see. This would be a good time for me to just crack open all my intermediate packs and just throw them into him. That would be a great time. Also, I have a question for you guys. Have you guys had any luck with the ad packs yet? Because every time I try to open the ad packs, it tells me the ad's in preparation and then tells me to go away. Like, it just tells me to leave. It never works for me, so that's why I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what. I have no idea. We're running out of points here. Alright, so he's basically at level 6 right now. Not bad. Let's go do our intermediate vintage, our basic vintage, and our premium vintage. And then we'll go throw some skills on the Posada. 
Nothing doing there. I do have a vintage combo, so I'll do that right now. I also have a mileage sig, so we'll be doing that too. I know, crazy. Blankford. And our basic vintage is... Please be a silver at the normal. Raphael Palmero. The normal and the bronze. Why not? And then we will... I think I have, yes, I got Joe, Joe Carter, and I think I've got, yeah, easily, okay, perfect. We've got it, ready to go. Right at the front. Ah, well, at least I got a gold out of it, so that's good. Not bad, we'll take it. So then, let's go do our skill changes, and I have a GI reset ticket, we're going to use on DD real quick. Come on, please. Went up. Oh, it's a good increase. 72? 75! Wow! Perfect! Thank you! Oh, what a day. Oh, I was being hopeful with the 72. Right to 75. Let's see what he's at, actually, real quick. I want to see these numbers. Let's go see these numbers, shall we? Oh, Beautiful. 126, 137, 122. That's a nasty batter right there. He only got one speed in the last ones. Love it. All right. Uh, it is double mileage, so I'm going to go buy. There's a package for sale right now. 3,300 stars for five skill changes. We're going to buy it. There was no notice of this, but I'm going to buy it anyway just because uh, I want the extra skill changes. And it's double mileage, so I might as well spend the mileage because I'm going to be getting a Ton of stars anyway, coming up soon with the Team Delight Sings. So, let's throw some skill changes at Posada. That's actually not that bad. But I don't like Barrel It Up. I really want Charisma on him. I don't like Barrel It Up. It's really, really messy. That's actually not bad either. Charisma, not, or not over yet. Looking for anything like Charisma Batting Machine, Charisma Spotlight. Looking for a good three skills. I can take it. Spotlight Charisma. Spotlight Batting Machine would be fantastic for me. Table Setter as a third would be fantastic too. Because then he'd be fantastic in any spot. Especially leading off an inning. That is a tempting skill set. But I can't run, I can't run Reliable. Had some okay skill sets, but I'm not going to settle for okay. Yes! Oh my god! Yo! Yo! Let's go! Let's go! That's my first Charisma Spotlight. Let's go, baby! Woo! Hell yes! Oh my god. Let's throw these into Paxton. Let's go! Man, why is it so easy to skill people who aren't James Paxton, man? Like, come on! Last boss stability. Yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> um, no, <laughs> that'd be okay as relief pitcher. Again, I'd uh, be okay as a relief pitcher. Boss finesse. Interesting combo. If it was mess finesse, I might try it. If it was finesse mess, that's a funny funny sentence to say. If it was those, I would try it, but I I can't do it with without mess. Um, another okay one for relief pitchers. Another okay one for relief pitchers. Again, finesse boss. Kind of weak. Not feeling it. Can I just get, like, mess dominant pitcher for once? Please, come on. You're giving me so many last bosses. Ace stability, no. Oh, my God. We had such good luck with, with Basada. I'm not going to give me nothing. Ah, oh, triple bronze. Come on, man. It's going to do this to me. Don't do this to me. 
Ace setup, man. Come on, man. Honestly, again, not a bad relief pitcher one. Maybe it's because there's a lot more, like, you... Okay. All right. Now, it's not mess, but I, I hear... I might I might try this. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to my buddies about it, and I'll see what they say about it. They can call me an idiot if they want to, but... We'll, we'll 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 see what it's it we'll, we'll see what it's at. So let's go throw Posada in on my bench and let's see what he's at right now. Who is he going to replace? So he will re replace Gary, and then Gary would go probably replace Gardner. I think ah oh man doesn't quite get me to one seventeen, does it? I don't think so. Oh well. I love Gary. All right, we'll put him in for Gardner right now. See what he's at right now. All right, what's Posada looking like? Oh, baby. He'll get up to about 131, 131. Looking really solid. Love this guy. So, ha so happy we've got him. Anyway, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. I'm, like, out of points. I've been doing this for, like, a long, long time. It's, like, a 35-minute video, so... I hope you guys enjoy the longer videos. With that being said, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm glad we finally got some potential skills, maybe for, for Paxton. We'll see. But anyway, with that being said, see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And I hope you guys have a Happy New Year. I'll see you guys in the new year. Have a good one.